What's up, you two? Buy your mat at Walmart. Uh, we got two compressors uh, off on oil. Uh, I already recently went in here. I checked my uh, reservoir. We got one ball floating. I checked uh, my compressor's oil pot. Got one three eight uh, uh, filled uh, halfway, and then the other one is like all the way filled. Um, it's uh, off. Our oil level is okay. So I need to go and diagnose, and see what's going on. All right guys, so typically if I have a call where compressors tripped off oil, what I like to do, I like to check my oil reservoir. We got one ball floating, sometimes you will have two balls. Sometimes you might not have no balls, but usually you need to have at least one ball floating. Recently, the filter looked like it has been changed. Next, I would like to go to the compressor that uh, is off on oil or in oil lockout. I like to check the oil pot level. As you can see, we got three eggs, which is pretty darn good. If we was super low, then I would have been concerned. Same with this one. This is full though. That's we should have so much oil, you know, too much oil is not good, you know, uh, should be midway. Uh, maybe I can adjust the oil pot, uh, but we'll see. This is our oil pressure switch. Typically, if I come to a compressor that's off and the oil levels are good, I mean, I could check the oil pressure switch, making sure it ain't jumped out. Um, making sure that it's wired correctly. Uh, this one senses pressure. Uh, typically you will have the Centronic ones that uh, senses, uh, uh, I wanna say pressure also, um, but I was like, uh, like seeing more events. They on the side of the compressor, especially on the Copelands. But this is the oil pressure switch right here. Also, I would like to make sure my oil pot valve is open. Make sure other valves that's uh, a part of the oil system is open and not closed, causing like starvation or anything of that nature, just in case. Typically, I like going to, uh, to check like my connections and all that, rather on uh, the main feed side or control side, just to make sure everything nice and tight, which I already recently did. This compressor also got a heater on there, which helps keep the oil warm and all that. Uh, I know sometimes uh, if those short, it can uh, cause uh, a trip on a compressor also. But we can check our connections just to make sure and uh, to verify. Also, this thing got the no bark uh, controller right here, as y'all can see. We see suction pressure is running about 11 right now just with two compressors anyway this does have the spoiling beef all the cases these are the circuits without spoiling beef anyway this uh, typical controller is easy to navigate you got your overview circuits compressors got your alarms Got history, network, sub cooler. Then you got your suction right here. You got your discharge right here. As you can see, we got two compressors that said fault status. As you can see, it ain't pulling no amps. See the starts and all that. See the hours. As you can see, it said closed status, compressor two and four. Pretty sure indicating a low pressure on the whole side. Anyway, you can look at the alarms. As you can see. Anyway, that controller is real simple. Like I said, it's very small. They got the spoiler bees, which they have the 
smaller uh, case controls on top. Uh, probably should go in and uh, show y'all what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, I'm finna reset this bad boy and I uh, go from there. We need to see what she doing. We need to see if our, our oil pump, you know, doing what it's supposed to do. If I want to get my net oil pressure, I need to subtract the suction uh, minus the pressure that I have off here. Uh, I know usually people get it off the crankcase, but y'all let me know how y'all get your net oil pressure. Typically, we just go off on the suction uh, pressure and uh, whatever pressure we getting from here. Uh, well, they could get it from down here if I wanted to, the crankcase. We'll see. See if I get a reading down there. All right, guys. So this compressor is now running. Got three running right now. It's calling for three compressors right about now. Uh, it was weird because I checked this damn false control. I reset it, and the compressor started working. It wasn't off on the uh, oil. But it's also a safety uh, switch right here. I was monitoring my uh, rack pressure. It's around like 225, making sure it wasn't getting too hot or nothing. And I reset it this one and it just started working also. See what's so great? Well, that one not running, of course. Okay. But anyway, y'all. Uh all right, guys, anytime you want to make sure your compressor is operating correctly, go ahead and uh, get a uh, single increment gauge. Um, it does come in handy. Um, but right now I am checking the pressure at the oil pump. I'm getting about 65 PSI. Uh, the bottom side, I believe, it was around like 55 at the crank. So that gave me like a, a 10 a differential. Um, but if I were to go off the suction to get the net oil pressure, uh, like I said, uh, my oil pressure from the pump is 65 and then whatever uh, the rack uh, suction pressure is, I guess just uh, try that and that could be my net oil pressure. Um, y'all let me know how y'all do it and uh, yeah. When this compressor was running, the oil uh, level kind of dropped a little bit. It was about, it was right there, but kind of filling back up. All right, guys, I just reset it, it switched, and it started running again. So let me see what the uh, discharge pressure is doing. All right, guys, as you can see, my oil pump level had uh, leveled out. I was checking my discharge pressure on here. Like I said, I kept resetting it from there. So I was trying to make sure nothing, uh, nothing funky going on and all. I was running and stuff. I probably decrease the oil pot level just a little bit. All right, guys. So I was getting about 65 psi up here, and also measure my uh, pressure down here, which I got about 55. So I got like a uh, 10 pounds. Uh, that's my differential. So that's plenty. Uh, this number is written on here. Amount of uh, PSI, I guess that was at 10, 5, 25, 23. Uh, but anyway, this compressor will run 
and then uh, it would just trip off on oil. And I always reset this and it would run, but it would stop shortly. Uh, I reversed my uh, two legs on the contactor and on my gauge, my needle was just uh, ticking really fast at 55. So, it's gotta be something going on with the oil pump. I was thinking about this oil switch, but it just can't be. It's too good to be true, you know? It's, it gotta be this oil pump. It gotta be something going on with this oil pump. Uh, I don't know, anytime you reverse the, the legs of the compressor, I mean, it should be, uh, the needle should be going, uh, you know, Oh, smooth to where it need to be at. It shouldn't be like ticking really fast in one area. I also removed some oil, but you don't have to. Uh, I was told that it's good to have the oil pop full, but also I was told it's not good to have the oil pop full. So every tech have like a different preference when it comes to compressors and all that. Um, so y'all let me know. Are y'all okay with y'all oil all the way full? Or like a quarter or three eighths of fill? Cause normally with the compressors, they have like a label, which is right there, of the oil where it need to be at. So y'all let me know. Anyway, I'm probably gonna leave this work order open. Uh, I already talked to uh, one of our techs who mainly do the Walmart, so I told him what I found and stuff. Um, I was thinking that the oil pump possibly going out. He possibly thinking the oil pump. So he gonna go behind me uh, and check uh, just to verify, uh, to make sure. Um, so yeah. All right guys, so that's gonna be it. Hey, I'm going to another Walmart, so I'm gonna get a little quick video. But like I said, we need to check the oil pump on this uh, number two compressor. Uh, a rack had one ball float in. Uh, we had a full glass of oil in the oil pot. Uh, normally, I like mine being around like 3 8 level. Let me know what's your preference. Do y'all prefer the oil pot being all full and stuff? Kind of remind me of like a car engine and stuff. You don't want to put too much oil in it, uh, you know, uh, engine or so. Anyway, all my case tips had a, uh, well, came down to stuff. Uh, the reason why the case tips was up because the rack was low on capacity and all that. So uh, we finally got enough capacity to help stable out the temps, uh, which is a good thing. But like I said, uh, I'm kind of concerned about the oil pump. Uh, like I said, uh, let me see. I was getting about 65 PSI on top side, crankcase, uh, 55, so I give me 10 on my differential. Um, also, I could have subtract uh, my pressure from the oil to the suction. I uh, forgot what number I was getting. But anyway, I reversed the legs on the two and like my uh, gauge. Uh, the needle was just like pegging at like 55 and stuff and i'm not used to seeing that normally if i reverse the legs on the compressor uh, after uh it looked like it being scarred or bump been tripping like it's about you know near in life i always switch the legs that's all that's how i was told or you know talk you know switch the legs and the, uh, stuff to see uh, what it would do and then possibly flipping back and all but uh, normally, your pressure will like normally rise in normal winds, be pegging like this and all that. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thoughts down below. That's my thoughts. I'm still learning and all that. So, and uh, every like compressor manufacturer got like different uh, ratings. That's really not the word I'm looking for, but every person manufacturer got like different uh i'm just say ratings if y'all get what i'm saying like when it comes with uh, uh pressures or whatever uh, rather like oil or super e good stuff like that so um yeah
anyway y'all let me know i feel like i'm just yapping right now uh, but anyway i'm gonna go uh, catch this call real quick at another walmart all the case tips are down so uh kind of figured that walmart's gonna come in uh this week we can be slow to be honest uh, but he's just coming in the uh, late afternoon and stuff, so it ain't bad right down the road from me. Uh, both of these Walmart's about four miles apart, so it's kind of strange sometimes how I can be close by a store and then another call come out of the room. It's just mind-blowing sometimes, but hey, I'm here, so let's get into it. And if y'all made it this far, I appreciate y'all. Y'all let me know y'all uh, thoughts down below uh, based off what I'm giving y'all. Um, I hope y'all was able to hear me through all that noise. I know it was kind of hard to hear. But like I said, we had two compressors tripped on oil. Uh, got the other compressor uh, going, oil pressure and all that was working and doing fine, flawlessly. Um, this compressor just kept tripping after reversing uh, legs, after having good oil. Uh, I even checked my control side of the boat, just made sure nothing was like shorting out, little things like that. Uh, I doubt that my oil pressure switch is bad. Like I said, it's too good to be true. More likely, I want to look towards that oil pump and go from there. So anyway, y'all let me know. Drop some input, some tips down below. I really appreciate it. So hey, I'll see y'all.